Hi everybody, this is Julian here, and I'd like to introduce you to the AWS Deep Composer keyboard. So here it is. Uh, it plugs into your uh, computer using USB, so you don't need batteries or external power. It's a MIDI keyboard, so that means you can certainly use it with your favorite MIDI app. So I'm using uh, GarageBand here on Mac, but again, uh, anything else should probably work. And um, and it's a typical MIDI keyboard. So if you if you know about those things, um, you know what to expect. If not, well, you have a number of settings here. You can change octaves. You can enable automatic arpeggios. You can enable automatic chords. Right. Uh, you have um, keys here to. Uh, record and, and stop recording and there's a whole bunch of additional settings here for uh, arpeggio mode and uh, and scales right let me show you scales okay so you can work you can work with different scales etc etc so it, it's super straightforward to use and uh, again I'm using GarageBand here, so uh, I've uh, selected this uh, fancy uh, 70s keyboard sound, right? Uh, and uh, as, I, as I told you, you can enable chords automatically or arpeggios if you want. All right, that's probably too fast. Sounds silly. Uh, and yeah, you have a, um, a pitch setting here uh, so that you can introduce um, uh, vibrato effect, etc., etc. So, uh, it's pretty cool. So let's see if we can play something here. Uh, so here goes. All right, let's try the chords. Okay, well, it's a MIDI keyboard, and again, if you use uh, if you use your favorite MIDI app, you can record tunes and change your instruments and do all kinds of things. But of course, we want to plug this into um, the AWS Deep Composer service using the AWS console, and uh, I'm going to show you this in the next video. See you in just a minute.